right, we're back with FF Tactics with some kind of tricky missions coming up. Uh, I think I've set up my team appropriately, but we should check. For Gryas, we want to have Auto Potion and Holy Sword. We do. Um, this will remove, just so you never use it, but I don't think Ovelia will be in any battles here. Um, and I think the rest of the party should just be fine. We checked if there are new equips. Um, when we do Fort City, we can check for equips in Fort City. And then after Berrios Hill, uh, Lionel Castle is when some important new equip options open up. I believe. That's what my notes say. Alright, so per usual, we're going to be far back. Over here is closer to the enemies, so let's put, let's put these a little closer. Um, as long as they don't move kind of forward the direction they're facing they're not really in range of the enemy uh, this is a mission where you have a basically one of those choices at the start that determines whether your mission objective is kill all the enemies or save a unit always select kill all the enemies even if there is some benefit to picking save a unit um, we just don't want the harder uh, difficulty and the reward for that in this game is always something like a slight brave boost and we, at least in this party, we don't care a ton about our Brave. We would like it if Ramza had more Brave. That would be nice. Blade Grasp would go off more. But uh, this is not a deeply Brave-reliant team, and we should not be too fussed about that. Let's make sure sound's working. Good. All right. You can't escape. Give it to us if you value your life. What do you want? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb, Mustadio. Don't care about your father. Just give us the Holy Stone, and we'll return him. Okay, guys, get him. So, uh, obviously, this is save Mustadio or defeat the enemies. You can tell Rudefish. He lays a hand on father. He'll never see the stone. This is the first mention of a stone. An argument? Someone's after that young man. Don't want to get involved or we have to help him? We're going to pick don't want to get involved. We'll still do the fight, but we have the easier objective. Always pick option one. I don't want to be involved, but I can't just leave him. I'll help him. But we will help him, but we will get the mission objective, wait for it, defeat all enemies. Which is a much harder mission objective to fail. Uh, it'll be useful to keep Mustadio alive. He has a couple neat abilities. Oh, please don't go into the enemy camp, buddy. Um, he can don't act enemies, which is a, a very interesting moveset. I wish he'd gone for one of the wizards. He can also don't move them. Sometimes he's learned one, but not the other, though. So we only know he has don't act. They're probably just going to be able to bring him down here, as we know wizards are very powerful. Um, you'll also notice enemies are higher level than us. They regularly get turns before us. But hopefully they use up a whole bunch of MP here. And maybe we can raise Mustadio, bring him back, have him keep trucking a bit. But there's a good chance this takes him out. Uh, other than the wizards, not a ton to worry about here. And our goal, as always, is, or at least right now, is nameless dance them into oblivion and let our guest do the actual heavy lifting. So let's start getting off some nameless dances in here, here. Um, what could you do useful? You could haste to Grias. That's definitely useful. You could think about helping Mustadio. But I think for now, I'm going to move slightly farther away, such that the black mages can't hit two of us at once. And I'm going to try to get re-raise on you. I know it's just 53%, but I just, if you get re-raise on your, uh, we probably could have placed that so Ramza would have gotten hasted as well, but oh well, doesn't matter. Um, if we can get re-raise on our priest, we can just feel much safer about all our later decisions. Mustadio probably goes down here. And this could just be a game over because he ran forward and we didn't have time to heal him, right? So, what an idiot. And, yeah, good thing we didn't pick that mission objective. Nice. We've gotten pretty lucky on the re-raises. Holy stone. Can't ever give it to them. So I hope Agrius can reach someone soon. Let's see how Nameless Dance does. And we will try to raise Mustadio if we can. May as well give the enemy a new target. We like supporting our guests. We're basically playing support. Sleep is great. Stop is great. Darkness is nothing. 
and slow is pleasant. All right, that's a great name to say. Well done. And because it took out both the mages, that makes it very safe for our priest to run up to the wall and cast rays. Uh, our dancer actually got hit. That's a pretty rare occurrence. Maybe we'll run to the other wall and just be closer to our healer in case we get hit again. Now, if we go here, we could cast haste and maybe get it off in time. Yes hit both of us. Haste does not speed up weapon charge time, or a spell charge time. That's pretty important, but it does speed up the turns you get, and that is valuable enough that, uh, you know, haste on casters is still very much worth it. 70%. 59 life is enough to survive a few attacks, especially if their mages are out of commission. Uh, I don't think he can reach me yet. Ah, we have a carved model. He has um, geomancy. That's a little scary, because if they petrify our healer, we could be in trouble. Now, petrify is a way of taking a unit out that does not put the timer on them. So we could just do the rest of the fight without Ramza, but we're, of course, going to try to heal him. And we probably have to worry about that knight. Getting rid of that knight is now a pretty high priority. We might not have a good way to do so because we don't really control our attackers, but I wish Agrius had run the other way, not towards the archer, because I would have preferred her to take out this knight with, uh, with geomancy. And I hope Nameless Dance puts sleep or stop or something on him. Silence will not do it. I don't think silence stops geomancy. That was a horrendous uh, nameless dance, but the last one was very good. And uh, maybe also Mustadio could use Don't Act on him. We know Mustadio has Don't Act. Check. Um, so I think top priority is now healing you of Petrify and kind of getting out of the way of... No, the Geomancy range is just so long. So that's still going to be able to hit us. Oh, the mages are back. It should have gone farther towards the wall. Um, oh, and now we're close together, so the mages can target us. Oh, this is going really badly. I'm glad that hit a stop, but um, we need we need some good nameless dances here, or this is going to get real clunky. We do have re-raise on our oracle. That's something. All right, that's an annoying miss. That's great. Uh, so, okay, we're back to not having to worry about the mage, but this geomancy guy... You know, it's only 20% each time, but he might get a lot of turns. Like, all our moves kind of hit enemies vaguely at random, and it's hard for us to focus fire down a specific threat. We just kind of keep enough of them at bay that none of this, them are able to take us out. But Petrify genuinely does take us out. Let's move enough that he can't hit two of us at once, so it gets slightly more distance between us. Because Petrify, unlike, you know, killing our healer, uh, our healer can't raise its, her way out of Petrify. So yeah, hopefully he just starts attacking us. Nope, that's... Okay, but now he's on a different surface. Now it does stop. Stop is less of a problem. We can deal with stop. So stop's just a couple turns down. Let's see how much damage he did. 30 damage. We should probably be thinking, how can we... 37 damage? And it's about the same percent. So I think we probably should go for the 37 damage. Um, yeah. Because technically this is a 4 KO, 4 turn knockout, and the other way is a 5 turn knockout. Um, what can we do here? If we go kill this unit, then Agrius won't waste a turn on him. Oh, and I forgot, we have our mighty stick. Yeah. Our oracle is now a powerhouse. Our oracle can do serious damage. All right, oracle's actually now our best attacker. Uh, shame it missed that one. These are guarded because once something is sleeped, you can't uh, add another status effect. Sleep is protection from all other status effects. But sleep is so horrible um, that like it's not like that's like oh we put them you know it's good for sneaky protection. It's not. Sadly, Agrius couldn't really approach. Let's get farther away, I suppose. I'm going to keep Nameless Dancing here. And 
can we get off Demi? No, Demi talks too much. All right, we got to start swinging at him. But 30 damage is real. Like, we, we, we take him out eventually. I guess we're back to, uh, to takes three more hits, but we've done decent damage to him. Poison, that's a little help, I suppose. Uh, yeah, everyone's already asleep. I should probably not. I don't probably can get away without Nameless Dancing anymore. I think we have this basically under control. This is great to see. Blade Grass means this is, you know, low probability. Uh, we're almost close enough we can reach him. Not quite. Uh, let's heal you, just to make sure you're not low, and come close enough we can, uh, we can do stuff while not moving three steps, because Agrius' movement, Agrius might want to run over and attack us now, and I think this way we don't get in her way. She's going the other way, that's cool. Uh, be happy for her to go take out all the other units. And I think we're going to stop dancing. And poison again. Those are guarded. Alright, not great. Hits. We're going to just punch the air. And we're still, like, way higher level than our other units, right? Eight. Nine. 12, but that's a guest unit, yeah. Oh, if we have another turn, we could use our stick, but we can also, um, actually, I'm going to just attack from this angle, just so that uh, our oracle can run up the other angle if wanted. All right, but he's going to run away, and he's going to run away to stone, and that's where he uses the more annoying ability. So let's try to revive Mustadio again, I guess, and we'll have Ramza try to finish off the, uh, the dude, but if if, Mus if this gets Mustadio back, which is 70% to do, then he might have a chance to take him. Ooh, I forgot sleep does wear off. So actually, we might soon have two mages up and running again. Oh, so maybe I should have kept going with Nameless Dancers. I didn't think I'd need it, but it's looking somewhat more urgent now. Hmm, mind percent to miss that voice. Gross. All right, that's fine to see. We don't mind that. No one else is going to be hitting them, and it was guarded. You know, we don't succeed on two seventy percent. We succeed on a nineteen percent. Great. All right, I'm glad we have re-raise on our oracle. That's kind of scary. I'm going to get up more nameless dances. I shouldn't have stopped. Let's see if we can teleport. Oh, hmm. We don't need to get there because. Uh, let's haste you and just kind of move somewhere where it's tempting to attack him. But it's easy for us to heal, and he can, you know, he's really good at blocking physical attacks because of blade grass. This won't kill our oracle, but it does have a slow. We gotta be really cautious. Regenerator heals very small amounts at a time, which is not that useful. Uh, right, I forgot we failed to revive. I was thinking we'll revive and then move away. Instead, we will heal ourselves, I suppose, and back up. And we'll try to revive Mustadio again next turn, but that's a bit of a pain. You're going to use Geomancy, uh, but you move surfaces, so this now will have a mod. Yeah, this will have stop as the effect if it hits. No, that's still Petrify. That was the Petrify move. Uh, that's annoying. I hope Agrius runs over and kills him. Oh, yeah, Poison. We have Poison. That's great. And hopefully this takes out a few. It's funny. As soon as I stop Nameless Dancing, the fight gets so much more out of control, uh, really showing how incredible an ability that is. But also that, you know, its dominance over the battlefield is somewhat temporary. But I'd like to keep levels somewhat, somewhat balanced. Yeah, we got to level 9. Did you hit anyone? You should be able to reach. Nope, can't quite reach the one. A lot of Agrius' moves are very height-specific. 
So even if it could reach the tile next to with a move that hits a range of tiles, it's still very easy for that move to not be usable because even if it can reach the thing next to it, um, it can't with the height adjustment. Ooh, please don't hit. Cool. Uh, let's see, yeah, keep nameless stamps up. There's wizards on the field. Wizards are scary. Two wizards, even. All right, Ramsek does survive that. So let's try one last revival try on Vistadio. Maybe we can finally get enough. Will three 70 percenters fail? Probably. Um, I think they'll target Ramza here because they know Ram. No, they're not. What are they targeting? I'm not sure. Um, Forty damage doesn't seem great. We know they're targeting us, so if we move next to them, we can both hit them for bonus damage because they're charging and their spell will hit themselves, right? Yeah, so we got them to kill themselves, that's nice. Rams is not quite down, but he's Blade Grasp. He can usually, I mean, except once one, both of their mages are down, you know, moves are only 25% for them. Uh, and that, that could, okay. That's pretty safe now. We can probably stop Nameless Dancing, but every time I say that, it turns out we could have kept Nameless Dancing. That said, we should be in pretty good shape now, especially with Mustadio finally raised. We still have re-raise on our Priest Oracle. Things look good. Oh, you just unconfused the wizard for us? That's not actually helpful, buddy. But Agrius can now attack the wizard too. So that might finish it. Wizards are usually pretty low health. That stops. I'll take that. And okay, let's let's say we we don't need you anymore. Though who knows, we might. And let's move over to pick up that crystal for that heal if needed. And you, Ramza could use a heal. Will it actually get off before the enemy? Not really. However, who are the enemy units that will go first? Hix is confused, so what he does is unreliable. And Catherine is confused, so what they do is unreliable. So I think we could try to throw out a cure here. Maybe a cure too. Go for the full heal. And we'll move slightly just for the MP heal. I like MP move up. I think it's a really nice, pleasant move. Oh, you're going to go for the... Uh, None of this KOs, so that's nice. And right now we have everyone up and most in good condition. So should be pretty comfortable here. And we got the kill. Nice. Well done, Mustadio. It was on the stopped enemy, so not a big threat, but you know, I'll take it. Guns are long range and flat damage. And what I mean by flat damage is like. I think maybe even all the Zodiac stuff doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters... Uh, let's unconfuse this guy. There's a hit from behind. Nope, that's where it's taken. Let's come here. So we can go after the archer. Uh, actually, while we're here, we have some MP. May as well haste Agrius. We're so close to being able to fight properly, like to being able to do damage on our own without relying on health. We're so close. All right, that is the unit we want her to go for. That's the higher health unit. I forget if that's the knight that has geomancy, but I think we took out the geomancy knight. We can check, we could click on him. But he's doing normal attack. Oh no. Oh, great dodge. We've gotten very lucky on the weapon breaks. Those can be very annoying. Um, the the armor and help like helmet breaks, be, especially because on Agrius and Gafgarian, those items are not replaceable, right? We only have access to the versions they come with. All 
our stuff doesn't hit them very well. Let's go with don't act and you know, pretty low odds, but Tom zero. Um, are, are they charging something? I forget. Let's just run over here so we can heal if need be. I'm glad they didn't grab the crystal. Not ideal they shot us, but you know, a confused enemy usually do, does something if there are visible targets. So we can't like expect it to not. But actually, we could now run up and stick them with our oracle. And that's going to do big damage. And Agrius can take out the knight. So all going well here. want to do here? I think I want to do nothing. I think I want to do nothing. You're going to do nothing. You can't do anything. A lot of nothing happening. And we'll move here and we'll stab him with a stick just to show the might of the stick. 54. Oh, I'm an idiot. They're going to go grab the crystal now and then they'll heal. Oh well. You can't always make good decisions, especially at the end of a battle when you know, have, have effectively won. But that was dumb. I guess we'll hit them more with our stick. I'm going to go next to them just to kind of block them in. If they have nowhere they can go, then archers can't really do anything because they're, they can only shoot farther away squares. Oh, Masadio wants to get in on it. Saw a chance to sneak a kill, and he took it. All right, respect. So I'm going to move you away just to make sure their archer has no one in range. Ah, uh, their archer can get out. Shucks, we didn't block in quick enough. That's okay. We will hit him with a stick. Sticks have two range. You can see what the two range looks like here. And it does one and a half damage because the enemy's charging. All right. So now we have three turns to win the fight. And in the past, this would be a little scary. In three turns, we lose our dancer forever. First of all, we could revive. But uh, we actually, you know, between our two characters, you know, Ramza does about 30. And our Oracle does 50. So between them... That's pretty good damage. Like, we can actually kill things if need be. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. And we have a new guest. Um, so in case you were worried that we only had one teammate helping us out in battles, we're back up to two. No worries. He's um he's odd. He has his his gun. So the gun, so most weapons, the damage, the base damage, not including um zodiac effects, is like your physical attack, so say you have six, times the weapon power, say seven. Six times seven is forty-two, so it will do forty-two damage. Some enemies it'll do a bit more because the zodiac alignment says so, some less, but it's gonna average forty-two. Guns just care about their own weapon power. Like, the stronger you are at pulling the trigger, the gun's going to do the same thing. So if a gun has 6 power, it just does 6 times 6. The next guns have 8 power. They just do 8 times 8. And I believe there are only 2 levels of guns you can get in a normal playthrough like this. There's some guns you can steal, but we don't have access to stealing, and it's kind of risky to go for stealing. If you do happen to have a gun using class and feet, there are some levels that it would be worth trying to steal a better gun. It'll be very apparent, really one level, it will be very apparent which that is. But for the most part, guns are not very powerful in this kind of playthrough, and we shouldn't be that excited about gun classes, even though they have range. And even though right now, 36 damage at huge range that basically can't be blocked, it dodges evasion, it's just like an automatic 36 100% of the time at huge range, sounds really pleasant right now and 64 with huge range sounds great but if you're doing 64 at range when every other character is doing 150 it's not 
good. Now, if you could do that and keep your full party at range, and the enemy would never have time to approach, that would be great. But it's really hard to have a combination of a team where you can keep that kind of range, and some missions just make it unfeasible. And fundamentally, you need a lot of power if you only have three characters. In a normal playthrough, you have five people every fight, and the enemy is usually six or seven. In a playthrough like this, we have three every fight, and the enemy is six or seven. We just need more powerful tools. So guns, not that useful. If you do have Thief on your team, there is one fight that if you steal a gun from, suddenly guns do become more viable for a while. And right as we first get a gun here, it's pretty viable. But on average, guns, not good, should not be part of your main game plan. But if you figure out a way to do it, good for you. They were troublemakers hired by Bart Company. We have a new potential villain. Bart Company, the importer? You know them. They're not just traitors. They're a criminal syndicate into everything from smuggling and slavery. Why were they after you? You know why they call us mechanics? I hear a lost civilization is hidden under Goog. Uh, this is one of those worlds where there used to be much greater technology, but it was lost. This happens a lot in fantasy worlds and relatively rarely in actual history. When St. Tajora was alive, airships were in the sky and human robots in town. I believe FF12, which is also set in Evalis, is from that much earlier era with airships and other things. But time passed, technology was lost, and no one knows if it ever really existed. But the civilization must have existed. Parts from many airships and machines are buried under, buried under Goog, which is how he has a gun. Mechanics are the ones who restore the past legacies. Xenogears also has a bit of this to its plot. In a much more important role than it will be here. It's going to be a pretty small role here. That weird thing you used in the battle, is that one of the machines? Oh, this? This is called a gun. A metal bullet that's propelled by gunpowder. This is the most simple one. They say you used to be able to put magic in it and shoot it. Magic guns are how you would get better guns, but again, we don't have thieves and we can't do side quests because we'd overlevel, so we will not have access to them. Again, if you wanted to play through this and try to use them more effectively, that would be interesting to see, but for my purposes, they're not relevant. Hmm. Also, the only classes that can use them are Engineer, Mustadio's class, and Chemist. No other classes, uh, and Mediator. Those three classes have access to guns, none others, therefore this party doesn't have access to guns. Why is Bart Company coming after you? You said you were going to see the Cardinal. He was a hero of the 50-year war. People in Lionel still think of him as a hero. My father, too. The Cardinal is the only one who can unite this country. I know he'd grant your wish. Then the princess would be safe. Yeah, and? Can you take me with you? I want to meet the Cardinal. Why? To save my father. The Cardinal's the only one who can rescue him from Bart, but he wouldn't want to meet some mechanic like myself, so please, take me with you. You still haven't told us why they're after you. I can't tell you now. Then we can't take you. I beg you, trust me, I must see the Cardinal. <clears throat> Princess has arrived. He doesn't know to bow. All right, you can come with us. Really? Thank you, Highness. Oh, he didn't know she was a princess. He just didn't bow. Remember, you're in the presence of a princess. Agrius cares a lot more about form than, uh, you know, if you spend your life as, like, a bodyguard to royalty, then you are going to be pretty committed to all the forms and regulations around royalty. It's all right. Please stand up. All right, then. I trust you. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see. Check new gear to buy. There might be another scene here in Zeland Fort City. But it might be a scene as soon as we try to leave. I'm trying to remember. All right, anything new here? Uh, Cypress Rod we already have. Triangle has to have. Uh, we don't yet have the mantle. That's going to be real exciting in a bit. So let's check Mustadio, right? Because we want to set up our team properly. 
Ah. He doesn't have enough JP to scroll glitch as a chemist. And. Hmm. Alright, not. He's not going to be in guest position long enough for us to have that much useful to do there. He only has our main. That's fine. He has gained JP. Oh, that's a little pleasant. But you have a free increase to stuff. I guess he's just going to be a gun user. Power means nothing to him. His damage is just 6 times 6 because the gun's power is 6. I think we'll leave him alone. I think we have nothing to do with him. Next fight can be tricky. We're going to... If I start going, let's take off Nameless Dance. No, I shouldn't do that. We should keep Nameless Dance up. And I think we're... I think there's nothing really to adjust to. Let's go to Berryhouse Hill. Ah, huh, and I was right. There is another cutscene here. So we'll go to Berryhouse Hill. And once we reach Lionel Castle, that's the game changer for our samurai. Who has been clearly the worst character in our party so far. Like, basically all he's done is said, sometimes I can cast haste, but I run out of MP pretty quick. Princess Ovelia. See? Lionel Castle is over the mountain. Still far from this fort. I wonder if Cardinal Draclau will really help us. I hear the Cardinal is very loyal to the royal family. And right now, he's neutral in the dispute between Prince Larg and Prince Sultana. I'm sure he wouldn't defeat justice by turning you over to either one of them. I hope so. Besides, he is a man of popularity at Glabido's church. They'll accept you if the cardinal asks them. And it is neutral ground, you know, it's a separate sort of region of the country in the south. I wish I weren't a princess. Princess Ovelia. I was always surrounded by the convent walls, and have only seen the sky through them. Ramza, listening in very stealthily, let's compare him to Solid Snake again. I don't think you know, but I was at another monastery before I went to Arbonne. Even after hearing about the adoption by the deceased king, I stayed there for a long time. Now I'm not complaining about that, just... People are dying because I'm the princess. So painful. Please don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Those who are trying to take advantage of you are the ones to blame. I met a girl at Orbone. She said she had also been living in the monastery since birth. We used to laugh at how similar our lives have been. Isn't it funny? Uh, before we get to the next line, I want to say, I like how often in these kind of poor graphic scenes, like you see scenes in games with better graphics, and often what they'll do is they'll hop between the heads of the characters, and if the character is kind of like, like it will do this effect of hopping between characters' faces, and like there can be animation of the characters' faces, and maybe their movements fit kind of what they're saying. Like they'll be expressive. Like as I say this, I'm currently moving my hands around, you know, gesticulating in the way they often do. But something I like in this game is you'll often have people sort of interacting with the scenery during scenes like little things like there was a scene with throwing rocks in the water back at Egros castle and now sort of tearing leaves off a tree that i think are nice ways of having characters have kind of physical motion in a scene even when you can't animate faces or movement and i think would be a good way to express it in games with better graphics like, it's very telling if a person's trying to talk and saying, isn't it funny, while, like, ripping up or tearing down leaves, right? That really adds an expressiveness to it and an angle on it that isn't necessarily just there from the dialogue and is a way of showing it that's different than kind of animating expressions. And I wish there was more of it done. I think it's a, it's a nice way to do things. And especially in a game that doesn't have other graphical tools, so is using what it has. She was the daughter of the bull base. Miss Alma, wasn't she? That's our sister. Our full sister, not our half-sister. We have half-brothers, full sisters. She is my only friend. 
I wonder if Cardinal Dracmile would use me. So this is the first parallel the game will make of Ovelia and Alma. They are friends, and they have lived very similar lives. Uh, daughters of families aren't raised to be generals or leaders or kind of nobility. They are put in monasteries to, you know, grow up properly, right? And don't really get lives. And Alma and Ovelia both went through that. Shikuchi, where are you? Shall we go? What have you been doing here? You can see he tries to uh, go, shh. How was it? Fine. Doesn't seem like Kokuten has been here yet. My friend taught me before, but I can't seem to do it right. She's doing a, like, leaf whistling. Which is sort of we did with Delita back in the day. When we were pals with Delita. This is how you do it. Like this? There, I did it. I've never been able to whistle. I eventually taught myself to snap my fingers. That took a while, but never been able to whistle. Oh man, it's late at night. I didn't realize how late I had started doing this. All right, we're going to do one more fight though, and then I will go to bed. All right, so we did everything. We'll do, make sure to get two fights done an episode. This one's going to be tricky. And I'm going to be nodding off during it. I really thought it was a half hour earlier. Okay, so we definitely want to give ourselves space this fight. This is the first fight where we will face a new class, and it is a very powerful class with big AoE area of effects. There's going to be some knights, I think. I think in the center, there's mostly knights and archers. Yeah, you can see two archers and a knight, and then another knight, you can see the top of his head. But in that bottom right corner, summoner. I don't know who you are, but leave the boy with us. We don't want to fight. Can Mustadio over him? There won't be any trouble, okay? Why don't you leave quietly? Tell Rudevich we'll fight anyone who tries to use war to sway the people. And I guess we must take him by force. Here goes. All right. Got to defeat everyone to win. I skipped through that. but um, There's two summoners here. So there's one on each side, and they are very dangerous. And I prefer Mustadio. It's nice if he starts with Don't Act, because that summoner can hit back hard. But we're going to need to give really good, smart, hopefully, support to uh, Agrius and Mustadio this fight. I like how that guy always turns his back around, because nothing can approach him from the tree side. The tree will block stuff. But, uh just funny that he runs forward and then immediately turns his back. So we really want to uh, eliminate the summoners. Also, the knights sometimes break armor and stuff, and that can be very annoying. So we could think about casting stop here. And in general, I think I want Ramza a bit forward because he has Blade Grasp, and that makes him hard for them to hit. So probably his first goal should be to get Agrius Haste. And if we move next to Agrius, we can grab Haste as well. And let's get Re-Raise on our healer. That seems just, you know, it's 53%, but if it goes off, it's a game changer, because it just means everything is much safer. We've never had her go down. Right? And if she does go down, it's still necessarily a tough spot. But if we have time, that seems a useful thing to have set up. We will always have haste hit success for Anagrius. It's a nice start. Hopefully we hit our 50% as well. And hopefully Nameless Dance comes good, because Sabrina, the Teenage Summoner, is a big threat. Yeah, so... Uh, Big area of effect means moves that are pretty far away can hit, and can also very easily hit multiple characters in the party. 94. So we're going to have to heal Mustadio soon, otherwise he's going to run into a corner and not do anything. Shucks, that sucks. Wish that had hit instead of the haste, but, you know, what can you do? Hopefully stop goes off here. Did something go our way? I mean, haste hit twice. I can't say everything's gone against us this fight. Let's get a good nameless dance. That would make everything comfortable. 
useless, 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 horrendous, horrendous nameless things. Okay, so let's come over here and try to get off a heal on Mustadia. That won't get him out of range of the summoner. Okay, so I'm going to try to get re-raise on myself again, and then we'll just raise Mustadio if he goes away. And he should shoot before he runs away, if he runs away. So yeah, that's great. Takes them down to, to pretty low health. So if they don't absolutely destroy us, I have my units too clumped. If the summoner summons again towards our units on the higher ground, we could take serious damage here. Okay, uh, we'll have to raise Mustadio soon. Um, not great, but you should only be able to read our uh, reach our blade grasper. Broken nine percent. All right, cool. I was very worried about Jasmine the summoner. And I liked my joke about the other summoner, so I'll probably make it again. Okay. I would love to hit you. So if we ran over, how far away do we need to be? Because Demi. We have one, two, three, four range. So one, two, three, four. If we move there, we can hit with Demi. And I wanna, I don't know how much, you know, that would kill, right? 72%, let's go for it. Gotta make sure it goes, um, it will go before Jasmine. So, and Blade Grasp still works while you're charging. Jasmine, uh, she's likely to go down, so let's be in this corner. This is probably the safer corner. Um, by the way, if you recast Nameless Dance, it resets the charge time. She could be close to reaching... God damn it. Um, she could be close to reaching a new charge of her thing. You never want to reset it mid if you avoid it. Okay, that's a heal spell they're casting. But hopefully we have taken them out first. All right. Uh, that was a 28% chance, that's annoying. And a 25% chance that we'd miss both our re-raises. Let's go a little under. Stop is good. Silence would be better on the summoners. I mean, that was... Hey, it's hard to complain about that, but... Nah, I mean, that was really good. Ooh, that should be able to double hit. Yeah, nice. Good job, Agron. And we renewed stop, I think. I think that was the no. That was a different guy who was stopped. So they healed a bit here. Um, really shame that seventy-two percent didn't hit. Oh, that was on those guys. That wasn't on the uh, the summoner. All right. So what can we do usefully? I think we can raise right. Yeah. Let's get a little further out of the way while gaining MP back. I mean, we should be fine here, but uh, I would have liked to taken out one of the summoners. Nope. All right. Ramza does not dodge those. Really funny if we could get Silence to land on the summoner that's just charging, because that would cancel it out. Darkness is useless. Confusion's fine. Confusion's nice. That might cancel the spell, too. I think that cancels as well. The grass will probably just do the same thing she did last turn. Yeah, if you have a double hit chance, you have to take it if you're the AI. It does unconfuse, though, which is a little annoying. Don't retreat, please. Stay close to the action. I understand why you did that, but I disapprove. All right, darkness, as I said, is useless, and silence is useless on a marcher. Okay. Uh, let's check the turn order here. What was I checking? It was something relevant. I've completely lost it. Uh, that said, we can definitely finish... Oh, I was checking whether the, the summon was cancelled. And it was, but we should still go finish off the summoner, even though they're confused. We should make sure we take them out if we have the chance. Pretty cool. And let's keep Nameless Dancing. This is a fight that I don't trust. Once both summoners are down, I will feel a lot better about it. But one of their summoners is in great shape. So let's try to get Mustadio up. And hopefully all will be well. Auto potion? Yeah. 
I'm really glad we got auto potion on a grise. I think that's one of the um, most important little touches I did this playthrough was, which I don't normally do. I don't normally think of it, but I was, we were doing so well with the Lita auto potion. I was thinking, surely we want that on a Gryas too, and switching over to Chemist, and especially getting a Gryas that last turn, hitting her that one extra time to make sure she would um, get to enough JP that we could JP scroll glitch and get her auto potion. I think that was critical. All right. Another not particularly impressive nameless dance, but not so bad. He should be able to pick off the knight here. Remember, guns have 100% accuracy, so anytime he can hit something, you can see there it was affected by Zodiac, right? Uh, for a 36 to do 54, it has to get plus 50%. Uh, I'm not sure what they're, uh, they summoned against. Why did that not work? Are you in a weird position? I don't know. Um, all right, let's do one more cycle of Nameless Dances. Every time I take it off when I think I can get away with it, I like, kind of wish it had been around a little longer. The only really scary thing, but there is still, is still a summoner. And if we're all bunched up, maybe I should not bunch us so much. All right. Silence. Okay, problem solved. That's excellent. No more summons. Um, for once, silence has been effective. Uh, you saw, you might have seen that was only 25% to hit. This is probably going to fail, but yeah. Uh, but I thought I might as well try it. No, please say false. Um, that was only 25% to hit because Agrius has a nice shield and has weapon. No, it doesn't have weapon guard, but has a nice shield that gives good evasion for direct on physical attack. Uh, shame we can't get behind that knight. Would have been cool to uh, to be able to hit him with our stick, but can't have everything. Uh, what should we do here? Anyone who needs healing, this Thadio could use a little heal. Nice, good evasion. Classes with access to shields really do get significant evasion boosts. Uh, knight. Holy Knight, um, Geomancer, uh, Ramza Squire class specifically. Other Squires have other problems. Nice critical. Uh, yeah. Archers, actually. Archers, if they didn't have such... If bows weren't so terrible, archers would actually be a really good class. They have, like, pretty good stats, pretty good equipment, very good equipment options. Uh, but they end up just being kind of garbage. But if it wasn't for them, uh, they'd be really good. So per usual, we will attack thin air. I don't want to unconfuse you. Let's go here. Uh, it's not at all dangerous to walk you into the middle of the action anymore because uh, things can only hit physically and blade grasp is the best protection we could ask for. I was trying not to hit the confused guy. Well, maybe we'll be able to hit him in the head with a stick. Yeah, again, 27%. Not threatening. Sweet. Oracle's doing massive damage with sticks is really amusing to me. Like, that this is genuinely a relatively powerful attacking class at this point in the game. And actually, you can make it just so at any point in the game is, I think, a really nice point in FF Tactics favor. Let's go behind him. Teleport. Best movement ability. Uh, move plus three is probably technically a little better, but you need bard for that, and no one has time to get bard. Yeah, they have to rely on physical attacks now. We have Blade Grasp. Now, didn't block there, but it just means we're going to have time before they're able to do enough damage to seriously threaten Ramza. Their guns do have huge range. If guns damage was better, they would be incredibly powerful. I'm not sure like what the break-even point would be between them being bad, good, and fantastic. And they definitely are mostly bad, but you can see why they're like 
pretty close to being really good. And I, at this point in the game, they are just really good. Like, clearly, Mustadio is doing reasonable work. All right, the mighty stick shall prevail. And we'll call it a video, and I will go to sleep. So this fight can be tricky. The, um, the summoners do a lot of potential damage, and if you kind of just charge up the middle, which I think a lot of people kind of run forward and attack, because that's kind of how you play RPGs normally, um, you can just get destroyed here. I think hanging back, picking things off, nameless dance is obviously really good. Uh, making sure your support units have support, like th that the guest units have genuine support. Uh, like that Mustadio stays up, he can keep doing little bits of damage. That Agrius, especially, um, you know, 210 HP is a lot, but Agrius can get in trouble. Uh, especially if the knights break her uh, equipment. Man, I am getting tired. I'm, I'm losing lucidity. But we end the fight, and we will go to we will go to Lionel Castle. It does mean we'll get scenes which we'll have to read, but I wanna I wanna change it. But no, we'll save that for next time. Why are they after you? Will you explain? Sorry, but I can't tell you now. You will soon, because we're almost at Lionel. And for this party, Lionel's a game changer. Uh, now, one thing to do, um, Agrius later becomes a full-on party member. Uh, so this is not a spoiler that she's, like, leaving your party to turn into a villain. But Agrius will temporarily leave our party, and she will get automatically um, new gear when she returns. So you want to strip her of gear here, and if you haven't stripped Ovelia yet, this would be a good time to take her gear as well. Do anything to capture Ovelia. The same goes for Agrius and the others. Kill them. Uh, this is Dysodarg's first really explicit orders that we've seen of such. We've obviously seen hints, we've been told, but we haven't seen him order it. What about Shikuchi? Again, um, they find ways to make there be something to watch. We get kind of environmental acting rather than facial. He's a disgrace to the name Bulldog, and he's in our way. I left him alone because I thought he'd learn how harsh the real world is. I never thought he was that dense. Did his strong sense of justice come from his father? My father spoils him. If he obeys orders, fine. If he resists, we have no choice. It's hard to believe his own brother said that. Sickening. But what if the Cardinal gets in our way? With the Church supporting him, even the Prince couldn't do anything easily. We've already prepared for that. There's no need to worry. So that's that. The more I know, the worse you appear. It's pretty clear the manipulator in the title here has to be Dysodarg, for this chapter at least. If that's how you feel, then you'd best watch your tongue. Don't forget, your head can be easily cut off. Hey, stop that. I'm your loyal servant. Remember, not stubborn like your little brother. Then don't make any more mistakes. Speaking of that, who did you order to kidnap Ovelia? When I was chasing her in Dorter, someone attacked me. What was that about? They found the criminals in the monastery woods. Dead. Someone learned of our plan and is trying to stop us. Anyhow, as long as Ovelia is with Agrius, there will be many chances to get her. I hope so. That makes it sound like Agrius is like either a traitor or deeply incompetent. And it's not the former, so maybe it's the latter. But maybe it's with Agrius rather than other forms of protection. But that's a weirdly ominous line for something I don't think actually pays off. Uh, so do we have anything to do here? Yes. We're going to take all of your gear so we don't lose it. And we're going to, we probably don't have enough for uh, fly yet, but you're getting there. And 
we will stop because it is late. And I did not keep track of time tonight. All right. Uh, good night, all, I guess. And uh, cheers. <laughs>